Good morning and happy December. If you are anything like me and have been in any way involved with the writing community during the month of November, there is a good chance that you have been pushing yourself a little bit further than is necessarily healthy for you right now. And when I say necessarily healthy, I mean that I have literally spent the second half of November in bed because I pushed myself so hard that I got pretty ill. So my apologies if my voice still sounds a little bit croaky, I can't really do anything about it at this point. <laughs> But I am desperately in need of some self-care. So this is what we're gonna be doing this weekend. You can think of this as a post NaNoWriMo recovery type self-care-ish vlog. If you have also done NaNoWriMo and exhausted yourself beyond recovery, I recommend you do the same thing. Maybe grab a cup of tea and use this as some inspiration to look after yourself because you deserve all of the self-care and love that you can possibly give yourself and I am giving you permission right now to take the weekend off if you need it. And of course taking the weekend off can mean whatever you want it to mean. In my case I desperately need to do some cleaning around here because between being ill at the end of October then recovering just in time for NaNoWriMo then our water supply getting cut off because of a storm and then getting ill again it's been a while since we've done some proper cleaning in this household and honestly you can tell my entire house is a complete mess and I always feel that I'm not quite myself if my house feels like there's been a small tornado in it. So we're gonna try to minimize the tornado's damage. We don't have to clean the entire tornado though, we just need to go step by step. I don't know how that's got there. a lot more time cleaning than I was anticipating and I gotta be honest it doesn't look that different in here. The hoover also ran out of battery before I quite finished the bedroom. I've done maybe like 80% of the bedroom and that corner still needs to be done and then like that side of the bed but it's fine. It's on charge now and it's tomorrow's problem at this point because 
I don't think I'll get back to it today, realistically. I wanted to do a little bit of like looking after my body as part of this healthcare weekend as well. Because before I got ill halfway through November, I was actually really getting into the habit of exercising before I shower and then go to bed in the evening every day. And it got to the point where it became an actual habit and it was something that I looked forward to at the end of the day. And then I got ill and I stayed in bed for like two weeks and then when I started getting back into work i still didn't have a voice and my cough was still quite bad so even though i was out of bed and moving around i wasn't doing any sort of physical exercise because that made me cough worse and at this point it's been i think close to a full four weeks since i've last had a workout and i would really like to get back into it in some capacity i still have a tiny little bit of a cough but it's good enough that i think we can do this without me making myself more sick but we're gonna go at it slowly so i'm just gonna start with like a little 10 minute stretch and just tomorrow we can do that again and progressively hopefully i will get back into some level of health and fitness that doesn't completely suck. It can seem a little bit overwhelming trying to get your life back together after a period of not taking proper care of yourself and one of the ways i try to think about it is trying to do the minimum effective dose of self-care that will make you feel better without overwhelming yourself doing too many things so i like to tackle three tasks in three different categories that will help me make my life a little bit better the first category we tackled was taking care of my home which resulted in quite a lot more than one task but i was very 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 behind in this category and this can be stuff like cleaning but it can also be decorating or reorganizing some of your space the second category is taking care of your body and for this i did some exercising and stretching but again this can be whatever you want you can just go outside for some fresh air and sunlight or eat some nutritious food and the last category is taking care of your inner child and this can be anything that brings you joy ranging from a creative project that is purely and entirely for fun and self-indulgent aka a not nanorimo. It can be reading or watching something, or in this case, it can be something like baking. I decided to take a stab at making my yearly chocolate yule log, something that I always make for my boyfriend around Christmas time because it's his favorite and I love making it for him. And this year I actually made two of them, one for my boyfriend and one to take him to work. So double the baking, double the joy for my inner child, right? I felt absolutely exhausted by the end of this day, but at the same time, I also felt a lot better for it, and I think it was definitely what I needed. And I absolutely recommend doing something like this, either to recover from NaNoWriMo if that's something you participated in, or just in general, if you need a break, just take a break. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and taking good care of yourself, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.